Welcome everyone back to another Destiny 2 video. Today's video is going to be a little short review on the Arbalist Exotic Linear Fusion Rifle that you get from the Revelry event. This is going to be a 533 charge time linear fusion. It's exotic Perkins compounding force. It comes with extended barrel, projection fuse, disruption break, and last but not least we have composite stock. Now uh, first thing that I want to go over is how you actually get this weapon. What you need to do is complete 7 out of 11 of the triumphs for the revelry event. So this will be, you know, just random things that you can do in the verdant forest as well as outside of it. Some requiring you to wear gear. And you will also need 300 of the currency that drops for this event. Um, it is called Reveler's Essence. So you're going to need 300 of those once you uh, complete 7 of the 11 triumphs. You can get those just by doing crucible matches, nightfalls, raids, the forest itself, so on and so forth. So like I said, this uh, this linear fusion goes in the kinetic slot, and at first I thought this thing was going to be really overpowered, but it's honestly not any more overpowered than, say, a normal linear fusion rifle would be in the heavy slot, or even a sniper. I think a sniper is probably better, because, yeah, this might have a little more aim assist, but... It still has the charge up time to where, you know, you have to charge and there's a brief delay from when you sh uh, pull the, pretty much pull the trigger to when it will actually shoot. So, you know, it's time for you to get flinched more. Maybe the enemy can move out of your sight, so on and so forth. Um, but I'm actually really enjoying this weapon. I'm probably actually going to be running it a lot. Um, it's, re it's really unique. It's really fun to use. Um, I got <laughs> I got teabagged a couple of times when I was playing this game in this footage and I got, actually got a dirty message, or not a dirty message, but like a, a rude message after from using it. But it's I really don't think it's that as bad as people think it is. Apparently there's a bug where it's like it's glitched out or something and it'll do extra damage when it's not supposed to. Uh, I haven't seen that happen for me yet. But another good thing is this also does a lot of damage, even in body shots to supers. So you'll see a clip here later where I do like over 400 damage to a uh, Spectral Blade. And, it, you know, it's actually pretty good. It might be a good uh, super shutdown if, you can, if you're accurate enough to hit your shot. Here's the clip right here. He's weak, but I still do a ton of... Uh, it's 148, I'm sorry. So I still do a ton of damage to him. But yeah, guys, this is a very unique weapon. Um, overall, I really enjoyed using it so far. And I'm probably going to keep using it. Uh, it's really good with, like, Not Forgotten, Lunas Howl, or even some of the 140 hand cannons, like Nation of Beasts, I'm sure you could use with this. And I've even see, seen people six-manning Riven where you do the cheese and you just use this gun. So yeah, guys, like I said, quick recap. You need to complete seven of the 11 triumphs for the Revelry event. So that'll be things like getting melee kills in the forest, uh, getting super kills, in the, or making orbs in the forest, excuse me, killing 20 bosses while wearing uh, the, the Revelry event gear. The, so that can either be the gear that drops from bounties or from... The forest itself or that can actually also be the eververse gear which in my opinion looks better uh anyway so uh, i would definitely go ahead and stock up on those just to be able to you know get, get have the gear and then also get the triumphs done as quickly as possible and then you will also need 300 of the reveler's essence which sounds like a lot but i think you get like i think you get like 15 per strike you do and 15 per crucible game and also the bounty like i said the bounties give you some too so it's really not that it's really not that bad so guys, uh, just wanted to make this video going over this weapon real quick, P pretty short and to the point, but uh, I'm really, I've really been enjoying using this weapon. Hope you guys are able to get it soon so you can test it out for yourselves, but I just wanted to get this review out, kind of show some gameplay footage of it, so on and so forth. So if you get, if you guys did find the video helpful, found it enjoyable, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more Destiny 2 content. And as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see y'all later. Peace.